What's up, YouTube Nights? This is your man TiVo. Welcome to another edition of Lords of the Long Box. Chilling on a Sunday afternoon. Hope you guys are having a great, great weekend, man. So, uh, man, you know, I was watching the game. My Reds gets barely won. Man, it's slow. I was cleaning up, and I just realized I got like 60, 70 books, man. So I want to smash through uh, this comic haul real fast and stuff that I've gotten literally over the last uh, two or three months, I want to say. Yeah, I've been slacking that badly. Hold on, man. Let me make sure this is clear, man. I'm filming this on my Samsung Galaxy S10. Shout out to Samsung if you're listening and if you want to give your boy a, uh, <laughs> a sponsorship. Anytime you use a call somebody's name out. But anyway, um, if you've been following us on Instagram, man, we've been doing this for, geez, a good four or five years now. Is Every Halloween we do Halloween comic covers. Uh, basically, it's any type of uh, supernatural or horror-themed Halloween-type comic book cover. Put it on there. Hashtag... Uh, Halloween comic covers. Also, people are now using 31 Days of Horror Comics. This is the Betty Page version variant of her um, the Halloween special one shot. It's absolutely gorgeous art. I forgot who the cover artist is, but I actually saw him tweet about it, and I said I got to go out and get that. Also, man, I want to give a huge shout out to one of the uh, Lords of the Long Box uh followers friends subscribers whatever you want to call him man and he's on both instagram and youtube his name is errol molnar he's from australia and he just sent me a just wonderful really nice uh a-ok -okay is like we like we like to call him or r-a-ok -okay, random act of kindness hey tivo just a little something for all the stuff you do for the comic community lord's rule First Doctor Strange cover appearance and the first Eye of Agamotto from Errol, a huge fan of the Lords. Errol's actually Canadian, uh, but he lives in Australia now. So I mean, this these books easily cost 50 bucks just to ship to me. So I am super stoked uh, that he that he's nice enough to send this out to me, man. I, so this uh, it just blew me away, man, when I saw these. This is uh, Strange Tales 128. I believe this is the first appearance of the Eye of Agamotto. Before that, it was just called the Orb of Agamotto or something like that. But the, these are so nice that I'm going to probably get them slabbed. That's how gorgeous these copies are. And this, I have a copy that's not nearly as nice as this. This is the first cover appearance of Doctor Strange. Albeit a very small cover appearance, it is the first cover appearance of Doctor Strange. This book fetches pretty darn good for money nowadays, ever since Doctor Strange has been blowing up, man. So Strange Tales 128, these are both going to CGC. Huge shout out to Earl Monar uh, down in Australia. So this haul's got a little something for everyone, man. I, I got modern, I got uh, bronze, I got, so you just saw some silver, got some spec books, some first appearances. Next is a new book that I've been specking on. This is uh, Arrow number three. This is the first appearance of a new Filipina superhero named Sea Hunter. This is the Virgin variant. You can see right there from Unknown Comics. Number 35. So, so nice. I got them thrice. So I got three copies of these bad boys. That's pretty gorgeous. So she's the second Filipino. So this is number 34, 36, and 35. So not bad at all. I think this is uh, out of... 500 maybe this is the virgin variant so peep that out first appearance of sea hunter oops where's my chill music go man i was just relaxing with these beats um next up as i sort my life out there's some stuff i just got recently man uh i got these these are the amazing spider-man uh, written by J.J. Abrams and his son. This is a die cut variant. I got two of them. As you can see, picked this up from my LCS. This is cool because you know it's the Lords. We love anniversary issues. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 500. This is the J. Scott Campbell cover. I don't know if there was a variant or not because back then, I think it's just a standard edition because um, what's his name? J. Scott Campbell was doing a lot of covers for, on this Amazing Spider-Man run, but he wasn't doing the internals. Or it may have been. I got this from my LCS. Near mid, beautiful copy of Lock and Key number one. The first ever Lock and Key issue. Rumored to be 
developed or optioned or whatever, man. We're going to have a show about that. Talk about how careful it is to spec on options. This is Excalibur number one. We know that's coming. This is Fantastic Four 211. The first appearance of Terrax the Tamer. Love that. This is gorgeous. I'm horrible with this because I've had these for so long. But this is Bow Spider number one. I forgot who the variant artist is, but I got the trade dress and the version variant. Who is that on there? God, I forgot. Stephanie Hahn, maybe, or somebody? Anyway, absolutely gorgeous. Now, here's an interesting book, man. I was talking about this Excalibur, right? This is Excalibur number one. This is the no price variant of the Excalibur number ones. This is the most rare one to get. As you notice here, let me show you the other one. It says $350, some say $4. The 350 is rarer than the $4 one, and this one is the absolute rarest of them all. This is the no price cover variant, if you want to call it that. Along with that, got an Excalibur number one, too, because I'm all about the spec, baby, because Excalibur is coming. It's only a matter of time. These ones are interesting. I got Young Avengers number nine and Young Avengers number 12. One of them is the first time they refer to her as um, Hawkeye, and the other one is maybe the first cover appearance. Either way, man, like I told you, I knew I looked these up when I bought them, and then now I totally forgot. I'm a horrible comic haul video guy. Uh, next up is a book that I've kind of been specking on personally. Is this? This is Annihilation Nova number one. This is the one and four. This is the first appearance of what we like to call Nova Prime, I guess you can call him. This is the issue where he meets up with the uh, the world mind and becomes kind of this, this, this uber version of uh, Nova, right? So I'm thinking this will be the version they, if they use, they, hopefully they use this in the movies. I got four copies of this, so there you go. Also, it's a great story, man. Dan Abnett and Lanning just kill it on this and then that. But the, it's, you know what I did is I bought the entire series twice. So uh, that's first two. Here's number two. I mean, look at the covers on these. These are absolutely badass. I do believe these are Addy Granoff covers, if I'm not mistaken. Issue number three with Quasar. And issue number four, look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, so this is the first issue where he kind of melds with the world mind and he gets, he's the lone survivor of the Nova Corps, Lone Survivor Xandar. Does that sound familiar, guys? Does that sound like the ending of... Does that sound like what happened in Endgame where they found out Xandar was destroyed? Yeah. Next up are these. Uh, this is the Powers of X number one. I forgot which one is which, but basically it was a secret variant uh, where his face is red and her face is blue here, and you can see how the regular one is here, so who knows? Like I said, specking is all about timing. These may be worth absolutely nothing now, but I have them because I've been lazy. Next up is we've been specking on this because uh, this was put on a long-term spec list a while ago. Uh, these are Kingdom Come. Whoops. Sorry. We were told that Berlanti is, they're putting a hold on this for DC TV. So Kingdom Come numbers one through four. So go out and get those. We heard that the Kingdom Come is coming after Crisis. And we probably will have an update to that on uh, this Wednesday show about where and when it's going to end up. But we had on a long-term spec list about two months ago that Kingdom Come was going to be the next thing after Crisis of Infinite Earths. And it may not be on CW and it was a miniseries. But we're, we're going to update that story for you on Wednesday. So uh, if you haven't been paying attention, uh, there's a certain character that's been blowing up. Uh, her name is Star. Uh, I have all the regular issues of Star, um, but I've been kind of purging on these because they're relatively cheap. But uh, the first appearance of Star is really blowing up right now. Uh, this is the Cardenized Virgin variant, or excuse me, the Cardenized variant of it. So uh, yeah, I just kind of went nuts uh, on it and uh, just got a bunch of them. <laughs> So if you want one, holler at your boy, man. I got five copies of it. Um, 
Next up is a spec book I've been specking on since we know that Peggy Carter is going to be in the What If animated series. What if uh, Peggy Carter took the Captain America superhero syndrome, super soldier serum? There it is. This is the first time she appears. This is Exiles number three. And it kind of shows her as kind of Miss Captain America or Captain Britain, however you want to call it. But it's the first time you ever see her in this gear. So them specking big on this, man. This is one of the variants of it. There's a regular cover as well, but this one's harder to find. It's not that good of a story, but it's pretty rare that you find this first ever cover appearance of uh, Peggy Carter as Captain America or as, you know, however, Captain Britain, whatever she is. But this is a pretty dope cover, man. This, uh, what was her name? Uh... Susie the Riveter or whatever, you know, from the 40s when they did that ad. You know what I'm talking about. Rosie the Riveter. There it goes. Sorry. Shout out to Pops Foster who would kill me if I didn't get that Rosie the Riveter uh, reference right. I posted these on my Instagram a couple days ago for Multiple Comic Monday. Uh, this is still in the poly bag. Look at that. Um, issue number 28 of Ghost Rider. Why this is important... I just want to show you how anal I am about things. Uh, it's still in the poly bag, and it still has the little poster that's attached to it on both of them. Uh, why this is important? Because the Hellstrom series was just announced, and Caretaker was uh, announced as the actor was going to play him. Caretaker's first appearance is in Ghost Rider number 28, Rise of the Midnight Suns. Go out and get you some of these. They're dope. Uh, next up is a book I've been specking on as well. <sighs> Let me get right through this. This is going longer than I thought. This is Marvel Age number 97. Some say the true first appearance of Darkhawk. He he's in a five-page preview on this that basically previews issue number one of Darkhawk. But if you want to go and speculate on those type of things, this is the first time you've ever seen Darkhawk. This predates the Darkhawk number one comic. So this is Marvel Age number 97. This, I believe, is the first appearance of Talos the Scroll. Uh, this is the Hulk wedding issue. Talos the Scroll being the guy in Captain Marvel. Um, and I believe this is also a key who is going to be the next Captain America. I think it has something to do with Winter Soldier. I'm awful. Really, I am. Here's some more right here. This is The Boys, number one. Some have said this is the most viewed streaming uh, superhero show on the stream minutes, internets, whatever. Uh, this is my second copy, but this is gorgeous. These are hard to find in high grade, by the way. Even this one has some issues on the spine because it's an all black cover. But if you look at that, it's impossible to find these in all like perfect grade, man. But this one is... Probably a 9.2, 9.4 right around there. It's got a few pressable dings, but also some that break color. This book is, is gorgeous. I love this. The Boys was awesome if you haven't seen it. Uh, I'm glad I finally found these in the wild, man. I haven't, uh, I remember when the, the show first came out, it was impossible to find these, man. Uh, this is the Umbrella Academy, number one, the free comic book day version. From what I understand, this predates uh, Umbrella Academy number one, which was a super hot series that's coming back for season two. So get them in between seasons. Remember when the season comes out, that's when the books get hot again. So part of our uh, collector series, we're going to talk about uh, when. And uh, last week we talked about like when is a good time to buy a comic based on news or what have you. This is a good time to buy Umbrella Academy while it's in between seasons. You know what I'm saying? So when the next time it comes back. Uh, so I got two copies. I liked it so nice. I got it twice. And this is the regular version of Umbrella Academy, as you can tell. At, uh, right after this. So depending on what you consider the true first appearance, this came out before this. So basically it's the free comic book day version of it. And I got two copies of this as well. That's it, boys and girls. I am done I thought I could get through this, but I don't like my comic hauls under more than 10, 15 minutes, and we're pushing up right up against 15 minutes. So that's it, man. So next time, boys and girls, we will see you Wednesday on our next live show. We may do a CW recap show on Monday if we have time. It's just there's four or five of us. You know, Manimal's going to be uh, stepping in also for the next four or five weeks. My man, Ryan, unfortunately, uh, had to get uh, back surgery again. So he's going to be on the shelf for another five to six weeks. Make sure he heals up in time to come back. So my man Manimo is going to be stepping up for Ryan for the next, uh, you know, five, six weeks and whatever. Uh, and if he's good enough, 
He may just replace Ryan. No, I'm just kidding, man. Get well soon, brother. We'll, don't worry. We'll hold down for, for you while you're gone. We'll, we'll bust out the stream yard. My man, man, a little stepping up. He's going to do the CW recap shows with us as well as the regular Lords of Longbox show every Wednesday. So we'll see you guys maybe tomorrow, but for sure on Wednesday as we got some new scoops for you. So as always, boys and girls, keep digging in them long boxes. Peace out. <laughs>